Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a hair care video on the current hair mask that I have been using. Coconut milk that looks like this. I know that it consistently works and if it's a hair mask that you can do every time that you wash your hair, um, which it is. So I am a big fan of coconut oil. I have been using coconut oil for many years now, especially when I was tried back in the days to grow out my hair and to restore the natural uh, healthiness and texture of it. It just with oils in general, carrier oils like coconut, olive oil, even like tea tree oil, sometimes it just clogs the scalp and it does really make you have cystic breakouts on your scalp i remember i used a heavy oil mask even in the winter and i just got this huge cystic bump on my scalp it was really painful so what i wanted to do is find something especially during the summertime that was much more lightweight but also had moisturizing properties of those oils so the thing that came to the rescue was coconut milk this can in the grocery store that doesn't have any sugar it's just premium coconut milk so for this one, I bought the Kroger brand and it works perfectly fine. I know that there's more organic and more natural ones, but I'm just starting. So I find that that one brand for the price is under $2 works great. And one can will last you about four to five treatments if you have longer hair. Since it is hot outside and the can is stored on a perishable shelf, the thickness of the layer when you first open the can will have like thick chunk to it. And then the water, the coconut water is on the bottom. So it's really important to shake the can and stir it once you open it. Then once I open it, what I like to do to save it is put it in a, a storage container like this. So when you do store it in the fridge, it will help the coconut milk hold its texture and last and be a lot fresher for longer. Even though it is a little bit more of better consistency, uh, you'll still have to stir it because it does get a little bit chunky. So you want, once you apply it to your hair, a creamy like milk like this so it can evenly distribute and it smells really nice too so the easiest way too that i've found with applying this especially on the roots of your scalp and throughout your hair just painting it on uh, kind of like a hair dye you just get like a hair dye brush and then you can paint this on all over your hair it's also very important to section off the hair and do it by sections so you can get each strand and every single a uh, piece of hair is covered with the coconut milk. Before any hair mask, it's really good to brush it out. So I'm just brushing out my hair so there's no knots when I apply the coconut milk. I'm using wide tooth combs to brush out my hair. I don't use brushes anymore and I find that it doesn't rip my hair. It does take a lot more time. It is a lot more time consuming to comb out your hair, but using, replacing your brush with a wide tooth comb really does work start with about this much so i'm going to apply this to both my scalp and then throughout my whole hair so i'm just going to go ahead and do my scalp first each section of hair so it can really get onto it because it's a little bit like uh, thinner in consistency compared to coconut oil so you want to section off your hair like if you were dying much of it um it really is i feel soaking into the hair so as you can see the consistency stiffens so it's like you're putting an oil in your hair because you want to leave this in your hair for 45 minutes to an hour i'm going to wait the full hour with this in my hair and then go into the shower shampoo and condition like how you normally would and by that time the coconut milk should have sunk in all into your hair and made sure that everything was like 
nice and moisturized. It has really helped to moisturize my hair uh, without being a heavy oil. And it does moisturize and put shine back to your hair just like coconut oil would, but it's a lighter consistency. As far as the scalp goes, I do apply it to my scalp. I massage it in as well. I haven't found that it creates any bumps or any cystic acne. Um, it's really more lightweight and since it doesn't really have an oily base, it has a coconut water base. Um, it doesn't clog your pores on your scalp, especially during the summer when you're sweating. Coconut oils and oils in general, they will next day help your hair feel a lot more thicker and shinier, but it doesn't give you that light body voluminous type texture as the milk does. I feel since the milk is more lightweight and your hair kind of drinks it up, the next day your hair feels very PC, uh, very beach-like, fluffy, and it will help the frizz go down. Have more on the side of hair that's a little bit more wavy or curly, it really in the summertime will help manage the frizz so you can wear your natural waves and curls. If I was to use this a few times in a row, is it going to have the reverse effect, weigh down my hair, not do anything for it? But so far, every time that I have used this, before I've washed and shampooed, conditioned my hair it has worked and each time it has gotten better and i feel like there's more shine to my hair every time i've used it so just in general last night i did wash my hair again but i used this mask beforehand and my hair is not naturally straight i do have a little bit of a wave to it and it brings out the waves so i'm just going to show you the result after a few times of using it so there's like waves to it and this is not any product i didn't braid my hair all i did was wash it let it dry and sleep and i didn't brush it nothing like that or comb it and then the waves kind of come back but since i feel like it's restoring the moisture without being too heavy it like brings the life back to it so again it gives you like those pc type waves i mean it's not totally like these pieces are more straighter, but. So I would really recommend this mask if you want to wear your natural hair during the summertime, not put any heat or style to it. Uh, it's a great mask to rejuvenate your hair and to just the next day, let it air dry, go, and your hair is gonna look shiny and healthy. The coconut milk in general has a lot of fatty acids in it. So it really helps your hair texture restore and also helps your hair grow. So it's really important to apply this to your scalp when you do it because it will help the hair follicles on your scalp get moisturized being said i hope that you guys found this video helpful coconut milk is definitely now one of my favorites to do along with the aloe vera in the summertime uh, please let me know if you've tried this before and what you think about it and also too if you have any questions please leave them in the comments down below don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already for more hair care videos and i will see you in my next one Bye.